Greetings, friends. It's Sean Elvis. I got a new piano hymn to play for you today. It's called There is a Fountain. But before I play that, I want to read out of the King James Bible. This is my first King James Bible that I got when I was in second grade. Um, it's kind of for kids. It's got some pictures. I don't know if you can see these pictures here. But it's a real King James Bible. And we're going to read from the Old Testament from the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 1. If you want to read along, the Bible says, In that day there shall be a fountain opened to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. The word of the Lord. Amen. The Bible says there shall be a fountain. And that's exactly what this song is called, There is a Fountain. It was written by William Cooper back in 1771. He was about 40 years old at the time. and But at this point in time in his life, he was just getting over a major depression, right? So if you look at his life, he lost his mom when he was three years old. He lost his dad when he was 24 years old. Um, he went to college. He went to law school to be a lawyer. He never became a lawyer. That fell through. Um, so he was never married, and he just kind of fell into a deep depression, even contemplating suicide at one point in his life. But at that point in time, he was working with uh, John Newton. If you know anything about John Newton, he was the author of Amazing Grace. You know the famous hymn, Amazing Grace. Yeah, John Newton and him were working on a gospel um, hymn book together, and that's when he produced this amazing song we have today, There is a Fountain. And... My favorite verse in this in this song is the second verse. It says, The dying thief rejoiced, you see, that fountain in his day. So this song is about the blood of Jesus and how Jesus sacrificed his blood on the cross for us so that if we put our faith on him, we'll be saved from our sins. So if you think about it, the thief on the cross who was dying next to Jesus, he rejoiced. I mean, he's going through an agony, a crucifixion, the worst possible pain, and he rejoiced. So it just goes to show that whatever we're going through in our lives, if we focus on the love that Jesus had for us and that blood that he sacrificed for us, we have something to be joyful about and rejoice. So this was the first song that I fell in love with when I first got saved. It's still my favorite song in the whole entire hymn book. And I want to play it with, for you guys today. So without further ado, enjoy. Here we go. <clears throat>
Hope you guys enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful hymn. There is a fountain filled with blood. And I hope you guys rejoice in the blood of Jesus. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you and God bless.